Well, hey there, word nerds. I can't begin to tell you how excited I am that you have hit play on this video. You see, I have an absolutely brilliant task for you that I know you're going to absolutely love. I need your help to create a brand new dictionary of brand new words. But before we get into that, how many words do you think might currently exist in the English language? That is, how many words in total, whether they be regular words or rare or archaic or obsolete? Would that be A, just over 1,000, B, just over 10,000, C, just over 100,000, or D, just over 1 million? So, what do you reckon? And the answer would be D, just over 1 million. In addition, it has been estimated that around 14.7 new words are being created every day. And it's these words that I want to give our attention to now. They are called neologisms. Neologism, a word or phrase which is new to the language, one which is newly coined. Basically, a neologism is a brand new word. And I'm going to need your help to make some as we create the alphabet of awesome neologisms. New words can be created in all sorts of ways. They can evolve from existing words or be specifically created to suit a purpose. For example, an old word can be modified to create a new word. Free becomes freebie. Two existing words can be smushed together to create a new word. Day and dream become daydream. And two existing words can be trimmed and shortened and then smushed together. Snack and accident become snacksident. But there's other ways to create new words. Grab a bag of Scrabble tiles and then start randomly selecting tiles out of the bag until they start looking like something that you might be able to rearrange into a new word. Oh, and if you don't have any Scrabble tiles, you could simply cut up some little pieces of paper and then write the letters on the pieces. Simple. So, let's see. We have P-U-P-O-L-S. Okay, let's go with these six letters and try rearranging them. P-L-O-U-P Sploop Oh, I like that, but what does it mean? Hmm, maybe sploop is that little bit of soup that spills from your spoon and hits the table, or the floor, or your clothes. Hmm, sploop, I like it. <laughs> and now it's over to you. I need some new words for our dictionary. By the way, there are no rules here. If you want to use Scrabble tiles to help you out, great. If you want to just make up a word from scratch, straight out of your brain, then great. It's up to you. Be playful, have fun. You'll find a worksheet on our website to help you get started and record your ideas. Once you have a new word, then send it and its definition to us here at the Alphabet of Awesome Science. You can use the email awesome at thatsciencegang.com. I can't wait to see what you come up with. I'll be collecting a whole stack of these and putting them up on our Facebook page and website to share with the world. Oh, hey there. Now, while you're helping Lexi with her alphabet, I'm gonna need you to help me with an alphabet of my own. The alphabet of awesome Dad jokes! You'll find a worksheet on our website that you can fill in and send to me using the email awesome at thatsciencegang.com. Hit me with your best possible worst dad joke. I'd tell you the one about the pizza, but it's too cheesy. And now, it's back to our regular programming. Happy word nerding!